Hey everyone, some guy here with another beginner Japanese lesson for you. But before we get started, as always, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when new videos are released. All right, so we'll get started here with our kanji based problem. So, number 144, we're going to choose the correct reading of the highlighted word in the sentence. And the sentence says, Mijikai tegami no kakikata wo kangaete kudasai, kotaete kudasai, kikoete kudasai, oshiete kudasai. So which word is the correct reading of the word here? So pause the video, choose an answer, and we'll check. All right, so the answer is yonban desu. Oshiete kudasai. So please teach me. So mijikai tegami no kakikata wo oshiete kudasai. So please teach me kakikata, how to write a mijikai tegami, a short letter. So please teach me how to write, please show me how to write a short letter. All right, now we're going to take a look at some of the uh, kanji characters that we see in the sentence here. So the first one we have is the, the word or the character for short, mijikai, the E adjective, mijikai. So we can talk about physical length as something being short, or we can also talk about uh, space or time, rather, like a, a short time, a short interval. So we can say, for example, mijikai aida. So mijikai means short, aida means like a uh, time span, so a short while, a short time span, mijikai aida. Uh, we can also describe, again, physical length. So we can say, for example, Kono zubon wa mijikasugimasu. So we have mijikai, mijikasugiru, mijikasugimasu. These pants are too short. But we have to be careful. So this word short cannot be used to describe a person's uh, height. If you want to describe a person as being short in stature, you would want to use the E adjective hikui. So we can say, for example, kare wa sega hikui. Kare wa sega hikui. So he is short. So again, you don't want to say kare wa mijikai or kare wa sega mijikai. Doesn't make any sense. Kare wa sega hikui. So again, hikui means like low. So uh, he is low, low to the ground perhaps. And next we had kami, which means paper. So we saw the word in the sentence tegami, which means letter. So this first character, of course, means hand and paper. So a hand paper is a letter you know maybe you send in the mail for example and it's also kind of interesting that in chinese this this these characters mean toilet paper so we have hand paper means toilet paper so kind of interesting a little factoid there uh but the next word we have is the word for paper airplane so kami hikoki so paper kami and hikoki airplane kami hikoki next uh wallpaper kabegami so kabe means wall but we have to be careful with the pronunciation, so we don't say kabe kami. The ka becomes ga, right? So kabe gami means wallpaper, like on your wall. And one more word here, a word that I really think is uh, kind of interesting is kami fubuki. So kami, again, paper, and fubuki means blizzard. We have blow and snow, fubuki, kami fubuki. So if you think of like confetti, that's kind of what it, kind of what it's like, right? Like blizzarding <laughs> paper. And next, we have a couple more characters we can look at. Uh, the character for direction. So we had in the sentence, you know, kakikata, which means like a way, kakikata, way to right. But we can also see it in words like dioho, which means both. So again, this character right here means like both and direction. So both directions means both. So we can say, for example, watashi wa dioho wo shijishimasu. So I will support both sides. I support both people or, or whatever. Uh, we also have words like uh, we can use it to describe not just a direction, but in a polite in polite Japanese, it can be used to describe a person. So the one thing about Japanese is like you don't want to be too direct. The less direct you are, usually the more polite you are. So if I want to say anokata means that person. So like basically what you're saying is like the person in that direction. So like you never want to like point at someone directly or be too direct with someone. So if I just want to refer to someone respectfully, I can say like that person over there, anokata wa, you know, uh, Yamato-sensei desu. So, anokata. And we have yugata, which means evening. And again, the pronunciation changes from ka to ga. And finally, we have the character that we saw for teach, oshieru. So, we have words like kyoshitsu. So, kyo, this is the character right here we see for teach and room. So, kyoshitsu is a room where you teach, a classroom. Uh, kyo iku. So again, education, and this character means to raise. So like teach and raise is to educate, kyoiku. Uh, kyokai means church. So again, we have, you know, teach 
and this is like a meeting so it's a place where you go to meet and learn teach about you know your religion for example and the last one just the verb oshieru which is something you'll definitely want to remember commonly used verb means to teach but it, it can also mean to to just tell me so for example like you'll go to japan and people say you know onamai wo oshiete kudasai so they're not really saying like teach me your name they're saying you know tell me your name or denwa bango wo oshiete kudasai please tell me your phone number but they use the verb oshieru to teach right so you might you can remember those expressions you know namai wo oshiete kudasai denwa bango wo oshiete kudasai and moving on now we'll take a look at our vocabulary so number number 145 we had to fill in the blank to complete the sentence so it says soto wa atsui desu yo boshi wo kita kabutta tsuketa kaketa hou ga ii desu yo so which word best completes a sentence? Pause the video, choose an answer, and we'll check. All right, so the answer is... Niban desu. Kabutta. Soto wa atsui desu yo. So it's hot outside. Boshi wo kabutta hou ga ii desu yo. So boshi wo kaburu means to wear a hat. So they're basically saying, you know, it's hot outside. You should wear a hat. So now we're going to take a closer look at some of these uh, vocabulary words, which all kind of can mean to wear, right? But in Japanese... Depending on what part of the body you're talking about, you need to use a different uh, verb. So the verb kaburu means to wear on your head. So we have, you know, something like kabuto wo kaburu. So kabuto means a helmet. And this is like a warrior's helmet. A samurai would wear a kabuto. If you want to talk about like a safety helmet or a bike helmet, you can just say helmetto, the katakana word for helmet. But kaburu, boshi wo kaburu. Kabuto wo kaburu, to so wear something on your head. Uh, tsukeru can also mean to wear. So for example, we have accessory wo tsukeru, so to wear jewelry so, or an accessory. So again, you want to use tsukeru, which means like to attach. So you can imagine, you know, putting on an earring, it's kind of like you're attaching it to your ear, so it's easy to understand. Uh, next, kakeru can also mean to, to wear. We can say, for example, megane wo kakeru. So to, to kakeru can also mean to like stick or like place something. So you're kind of like placing the glasses like on your head. So even though it's on your face, you don't use kaburu, you use kakeru. Megane wo kakeru. And finally, we have haku, which is to wear something, you know, below your waist, like on your legs or on your feet. So we can say, for example, zubon wo haku. So to wear pants. Kutsu shita wo haku. Kutsu wo haku. To wear socks, to wear shoes. So, again, depending on the part of your body you're talking about, you have to be careful of the verb that you use. So, you know, the, your head is kaburu, your, your lower half is haku, okay? Megane wo kakeru. So, you know, it seems kind of complicated, but, you know, just practice and it'll be simple. And finally, we'll take a look at our bumpo, our grammar for today's lesson, so number 146. Again, we have a conversation, need to fill in the blank. So, the person says, Anata no kappu wa dochi desu ka? So which cup is yours? And the person says, Oki no ho desu, motto oki desu, oki ho desu, or zutto oki desu. So which completes the sentence? Pause the video, choose an answer, and we'll check. All right, so the answer is, Sanban desu, oki ho. Anata no cup wa dochi desu ka? Which cup is yours? Oki ho desu, the big one, right? So maybe there are some, you know, there's a cup, two cups, whatever. Which one is yours? Oki ho, the big one. So we're going to take a look at using this ho to describe a uh, direction. So we can say, for example, skin, or, or, you know, direction or like a one. So we can say, for example, skina ho wo erande kudasai. So please choose the one that you like. So you can imagine that maybe you have two choices or three choices or whatever. So, skina ho. So you can like you can choose you know this one over here, this one over here, or this one over here. So please choose the one that you like. Uh, we can also say kochi no ho ga ii to omo. So I like this one better. So again, it kind of translates to one. So kochi no ho ga ski, kochi no ho ga ii. So like I like this one here in this direction. And we also we're also going to take a look at using zutto, which means like a lot. So we can say for example kyo wa. Kino yori zutto samui ne. So today is much colder than yesterday. So you can just say, for example, kyo wa kino yori samui ne. Today is colder than yesterday, but maybe the temperature difference is pretty big and it's a lot colder, so you can use zutto. 
今日は昨日よりずっと寒いね。It's so much colder. And one more example sentence here. 日本語より英語の方がずっと難しい。So English is way more difficult than Japanese. I think so too. What do you guys think? Is English more difficult than Japanese?、Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. But、uh, that's it for today. So just using ho to describe you know, some, something that you like or some direction, you know, ski na ho, kochi no ho. And zutto to describe, you know, like a severe or an extreme case. Zutto samui, zutto muzukashi. But、uh, that's going to do it for today. So, as always, thank you guys for liking, watching, subscribing. Really appreciate that. And、uh, we'll see you back here.、Uh, oh, yeah. If you want to learn more in depth Japanese grammar, check out my book. It's on Amazon. The link is in the description below.、Uh, if you check it out, leave a comment, tell a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate that. But、uh, we'll see you guys back here next week for another beginner Japanese lesson. Mata ne.